Hello doctor and welcome to this special video program. I am Rajesh, Rajesh Gurule. I am working, I am practice consultant from India. In this particular video series, we are going to see various practice boosting strategies that will help you managing and growing your practice. The slogan of my company is take your practice to the next level. It does mean that at whatever level your practice is currently, you there is always the next level where you want to go, where you desire to go and many times where you deserve to go. So in this video series we are going to see various strategies that will help you in going there. So let's start with various strategies. There are many videos and in each video we are going to see one single strategy that can transform your practice dramatically. The first patient management strategy is communicating with patients in your premises. You may think this is sort of no-brainer, but believe me, this is one of the important thing which is normally neglected. People are they they do not pay attention to communicating with their patients. How you and your staff communicate with your patient that decides whether you get that patient for lifetime or not. You must have heard that first impression is last impression. The same adage goes very true for your own practice also. And again, believe me, the first impression is created by your staff members as well and the last impression is also created by your staff member. So the way everybody in your practice communicates with your patient is vital to your practice's success. Again, this particular in this particular strategy we are talking about the things which you do in your premises. From the moment the patient steps into your premises till the time he is out completely, everything matters. Verbal communication, non-verbal communication, your floor, your wetting area, your walls, what you put on the walls, everything communicates with patients. The way your staff talk with them, the way, pay, the way your patient announces their name, the way everything is communicated to your patients. All these things does matter. The good part is that you can control this communication at least within your premises. So each and every moment the patient is going to pain in your practice that should be planned. How they are going to fail because of everything. The way they you make them sit, the chairs, the sofas they sit on, the kind of newspapers, the paper, the magazines you are having for them to read. These things are the things which create very e different impact on your patients. You better pay attention to all this. So, communicating with your patients in your premises, that's the first patient.